of uh, Mr. Murphy's term, the New York Times explains, that's the governor of New Jersey. Before the pandemic settled in, Mr. Sweeney served as an obstacle to the governor's expansive progressive agenda. Of course he did. Further burnishing his moderate democratic uh, bona fides by pushing back on increases in budget spending and a plan to tax the wealthy. So Sweeney, who pretended to be a Democrat, who pretended to be on the left, and he's got all this, oh, I'm a union guy, oh, I fight for the average guy. And what did he actually do? He fought the Democratic administration to make sure that they did not tax the wealthy. He's like, oh, my beloved wealthy, my beloved, beloved rich, I work for you, I pledge you. You lost to a truck driver. You lost to a truck driver who had no money at all, you loser. That's what happens when you're corrupt. And we're going to call out every corrupt politician, including people in the New Jersey Assembly. We're not going to let you get away with your corruption. And next time it'll be you and not Sweeney. So, oh, you want to cry about that? Oh, no, no, what do you want us to do? Serve the average American? Yes, that's what we want you to do. Oh, well, but my donors want me to be corrupt. Well, then you're going to be next. So, but they go further. New York Times, this almost never happens. But this, it's the corruption in New Jersey is so brazen, they actually explained it in the paper. They said Mr. Sweeney was closely aligned with George E. Norcross, an insurance executive and powerful power broker whose stranglehold on southern New Jersey politics lead many to see him as a shadow governor. Hmm. I guess if this bill passes in the New Jersey Assembly, we'll have to look a lot more into Mr. Norcross who apparently has a stranglehold on our democracy. And he revels in corruption. We'll have to look a lot more into him. You know, we're thinking of hiring reporters all across the country. We were gonna start in California, but we'll start in the most corrupt state. So right now, New Jersey's in great shape because they have not rescinded it. They're actually one of the five states that are actually doing something about Citizens United, doing something about the corruption. But if they go out of their way to rescind it and say, we are pro-corruption, I guess we're going to have to hire reporters, we're going to have to do story after story, figuring out why Norcross has a stranglehold on the government of New Jersey and is a shadow, if he's the shadow governor, I guess we're going to have to dig and dig and dig into his business and find out why he's so in favor of the wealthy and how many politicians has he bought. It's a good question, someone should look into it.